Why is it important to consider outsider opinions when planning strategy? Oh, I'm, I mean, <laughs> working as an outsider or working with an outsider, it's, they have perspective that you don't have. Um, I don't think that this is um, a revelation. Um, you know, I get to work with the RAND Corporation, which is the largest think tank in the world, one of the most prestigious think tanks in the world. And, you know, I don't have half or even a quarter, even an eighth of the credentials of some of the people who, who work at RAND, who I get to work with. Um, the thing they value from me, and they say this to me, the thing they value from me is I have an, a perspective unlike theirs. And I raise questions and I see things that they can't see, that they don't see. Um, and that is the value of an outsider. Did your perception of that kind of outsider influence change at all once you started working with RAND, or is it something that's always been constant in, in all of your work? Well, I'm, I'm a great believer in looking outside. I mean, all of, my I, all of my ideas come from comparing and contrasting things that don't connect. I mean, the fact that I get to work in uh, government and politics and military and big business and small business and nonprofit, like, I learned something over here that I realized could solve a problem over here. And it, it is that, uh, that breadth, that, that, that broad view that I specifically take that specifically contributes to what I'm able to bring to all the others. Um, and it's amazing because they think that I'm an expert in their industry and the answer is I actually learned it from somebody else. <laughs> uh, that happens all the time.